Jai Radhe Madhuri. One more. <laughs> One more. <laughs> yes. Okay. Jai Radhe Ma Jai Radhe Ma Jai Anand Ma Jai Radhe Ma Jai Ma Jai Ma Jai Radhe Ma Jai Radhe Ma Jai Radhe Hey Radhe Ma Jai Radhe Govind Jai Radhe Ma Jai Radhe Jai Ma Jai Ma Jai Radhe Ma Jai Ma Jai Ma Jai Radhe Ma Radhe Jai Sri Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe Govinda Radhe Gopal Radhe Radha Sada Siddhi Hari Nandalal Mirohe Radha Sada Siddhi Hari Nandalal Mirohe Jai Radhe mero he Radhe mero he Oh Radhe mero he I'm yours my dear Hey Jema Jema Ananda ma Jema Ananda Ma Jai Ma Jai Ma Jai Ananda Ma Jai Ma Jai Ma Jai Radhe Ma I'm yours Jai Ma Radhe Ma Shri Radhe Ma
और आज <laughs> जय राधे थैंक यू माधुरी वेरी नाइस जय राधे गुरुदेव जय राधे गुरुदेव जय राधे जय राधे कौन बोलता है मैं गुरुदेव तू कौन तो बेन है जय राधे today we want to start uh, with anapurna shakti from japan yeah she wants to share something about her life and about all the miracles that she radhika and she guru have done in her life yeah jai ho jai ho anapurna ki It was yesterday so beautiful, Gurudev. This Rasa Purnima. Yeah, very nice. This is a vision of Radha and me throwing ornaments. Just now, make the road punja today. Ah, bah. First time, never I see that Lila. Beautiful, beautiful, Gurudev. It is possible that maybe Rasalila and Chama Priya are coming after and sharing about the process of. Taking the decoration and what was the inspiration and the idea, but they have. That a, will be very beautiful. But they are always in service today. Stitching school, so right now they are in the stitching school. So maybe when it's finished, they will join, and then maybe we have chance to listen from them also. But it's not confirmed hundred percent. Very good. The VIPs. We have to wait for them. To learn from them. Uh, Anapurna is ready. Now. Yeah, Jai Ho Anapurna. Jai Ho Anapurna. Radhe Radhe, Gurudev, and my dear brothers yeah. and sisters. And thank you for the opportunity to give me the uh, chance to share. But yeah, when Suniti did it. Send me the message, or oh, Napurna, please share something on Wednesday. I was really at a loss because I am not qualified at all. I had no realization at all, and I already listened to so many beautiful sharing from other devotees. For example, last week, Kishori Didi, she did so beautiful sharing. After that, I I actually don't know what I should say, but um, always my uh, Jayananda Maharaj he said to make Guru Dev happy, to make Radha Mohan Guru Dev happy is an important thing. So if my small sharing can make Radha Mohan Guru Dev and my <laughs> God's brothers and sisters happy. I will try my best. Yeah. 
Um, and I think uh, many of the, uh, many of you don't know about me, so very short self introduction I will do. I visited Brindaban in 2018 for the first time. It was the mercy of, uh, of course, Radha Mohan, Sadhu Maharaj, and Jayananda Maharaj, and Kishori Didi, and also Mabakti Himagiri. Because Mabakti Himagiri invited Jayananda Maharaj to Akita, where my, I am living now. Before that, I was practicing yoga and studying yoga philosophy also, and I loved it very much, but I always was feeling that something was missing. And I always trying to find out what was missing, but I couldn't find it. So I thought maybe my, yeah, I have no inter intelligence and that's why I couldn't understand what is yoga philosophy, what is yoga. So I thought maybe I should stop studying yoga. But that perfect timing, the Mabakti Himagiri, she invited Jananda Maharaj to Akita and I joined the lecture. And that lecture was about three hours. And within that only three hours, I was really almost shocked because Jananda Maharaj explained everything that I really wanted to know, I really wanted to make clear, explained perfectly, ex uh, explained very clearly to understand what I really want to find out. And that day I thought, oh, finally I found my guru in my life. And soon after that, I joined the uh, the, the, the association in Japan. And since then, I, every day, morning and evening, I listen to his lecture. And after some time, I knew that there is a Brindavan tour. Then, immediately, I decided to join the tour. Then I visited Munger Mandir for the first time. Then I met Sadhu Maharaj. Suniti Didi also, I met for the first time there, and I got initiated. Yeah, that is my first story. But uh, even after I got initiated, uh, I think I was still full of ego. Because always I'm... Mm, yeah, I think this is my nature. I am always trying to do my best to make some result. And before I believe that that is the best way to make my life successful. But after I got the initiation and I got association with other devotees, and little by little I learned that it's not uh, it's not the real goal of my life. And after I visited Brindavan for the first time, I did. I really didn't want to miss the association with devotees. So I asked Jayananda Maharaj to come to my hometown, Akita. And he was very happy. And I asked Kishori Didi also to come to Akita. So I invited them and organized some program in Akita. Then many people joined. I organized lecture, the basic, uh, yeah, bhakti, about uh, bhakti yoga lecture and cooking class, kirtan program, etc. And many people joined and they were very happy. And many of them I interested, got interested in Brindavan and Bhakti Yoga. So that is uh, my first um, experience as, a, um, how to say, to serve for others without expecting any 
profit or a reward or something. Before, I was always thinking that I have to receive something in return. <laughs> it's really <laughs> egoistic. Mm. But at that time, I didn't know that I was full of ego. Now I, I know very well. But as I serve more and more, still I am full of ego, but I feel that slowly, slowly my ego is going down, decreasing, I mean. At the beginning, I thought it's just, um, I feel, um, how to say, I feel that um, this is this is my life to just trying to do my best and get some result and make some people happy. That was enough for me before, but it was not enough. That's why I was not satisfied before even I studied, even if I studied yoga so much. But I learned to serve to Radha Mohan, Gurudev and other people. And now I learned that no other things I need, just serving to the people is enough to, in my life. And last, no, two years before, Gurudev introduced me, my husband, Radha Mohan Das, and he told me that, oh, you to go to Japan and do Prasadam Seva to Japanese people. Before, I was doing everything only by myself. And that makes my ego bigger and bigger. <coughs> but now, about one month before, he finally came to Japan, and now we are starting our Prasadam sub. And always we are doing together. So I can feel that I am do not doing by myself. Of course, we are doing together, but it's not our job. Somebody is doing, somebody is making us do, somebody is making us sub. That is my feeling now. And I never imagined that I feel like this. So it's really difficult to explain, but my, and I don't know this is even my realization about or not, because still I am just a foreign soul and I really need your mm, dust of lotus feet to get that realization. Mm, but if I try to share my small realization, this is the one. Now I'm always hoping that I am in Seva, always 24 Seva, and always I found that it's really difficult for me. But I am always happy when I am in Seba, and especially when I am doing Seba with my God's brothers and sisters. And of course, Prasadam Seba is one of my our yeah, Seba, but I want to increase increase the Seba more and more. For example, I want to start the share house for devotees here in Akita. And now I'm looking for the good house. Then I can give more and more opportunity for many people to get prasadam, of course, and doing kirtan and listening to harikata, etc. So that is my yeah, hope right now. And yeah, of course, I want to visit Brindavan as soon as possible. But if I am all, if I can be in Seba always 24 seven, I think that means I am in Brindavan always. Thank you so much. This is my small, small sharing. Bye.
Please excuse me if I do some movements. This is a very good idea, telling how mm. it will be like a temple place that you can eat the deity and all will has very, very good idea. Very good. You will be successful. I'm laughing at one. Beautiful. It's also very scaring and helping to pay. Very nice. My blessing at one. He has the power to fulfill everyone. This love I feel. Beautiful shape. Yeah. And my Thank you, Anapurna Shakti. And, uh, yes, Gurudev? And I do Radha Mohan also, my blessing. Hare Hare. Jai Gurudev. I got to go say mass. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. your thank you for your blessing that you sent me to Chavan. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and to see you both together makes us all very happy. <laughs> And you will do lots, lots of beautiful service in the future. Gurudev has given all blessings. Thank you for sharing that corner. Yeah. Radhi, Radhi, thank you so much. <laughs> so now I would like to ask um, our next dasis will be uh, Roy Priya and her husband Praneshwara and the little Prema Lakshmi. Are you are you there with us? Yes, we are here. Yeah. I'm at the moment. Rai Priya, can you come with uh, with uh, Lakshmi? Yeah, coincidentally, some visitors came to our house now. <laughs> they came to bring uh, nice. some cake for uh, for for Lakshmi and gifts. Because oh, she will get uh, soon uh, one what? year. Next week. Wow. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. Oh, it's a birthday coming up. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, coming I mean, in one year. And already yeah. Yeah. Yes. So lucky. She, <laughs> yes. And uh, we are. Mm, also, Lakshmi is making mm, Laksh Prema Lakshmi is making us more and more mm, uh, in service mood. Mm, we also always in service mood, and, uh, as I understood that without uh, Seva Rasa will not come, and I'm so thankful Gurudev gave gave to me so so beautiful works and so beautiful everything sangha everything is made like uh, life so wonderful it is uh, i even if i was thinking what to share that uh, i i realized one beautiful thing that um, i fe i feel like um, like a uh, guest here i'm uh, for example in this house where 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 we are at the moment this um, this is like i'm i'm i am servant of uh, deities here this is not uh, my house i'm I, i'm guest here and this is so uh uh good feeling to feel like this uh make make this feeling makes uh uh, so free, I feel so free. I feel like 
I'm flying. I'm flying. That um, um, kind of I I one day years ago some somebody asked from Gurudev, but is there free will? And uh, I remember that Gurudev said that yes, of course. Uh, your free will is uh, to surrender or to not. Mm, and when I when I realized the meaning of of that, it, I I realized that it is so simple. I I don't have to decide anything. I just. Uh, I just uh, only uh, all I can all all I all I have to do is just try to surrender one hundred percent, and everything become so so tasteful, full of tastes, full of beauty, full of rasa. So and uh, day by day. All the feelings are growing and growing, and 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 only good things coming in in my life, in our life, and that's because of uh, because of uh, me as well, like 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 um, like Anna Puri told that Anna Puri, Puri told that. Anapurna told that she's not doing anything but more, but but only seva, and that's uh, that is the only good solution for us to be in seva mode. Then rasa will come. So, <laughs> brother, um. I was first time in Vrindavan exactly 12 years ago. And this is uh, the one of the biggest changing point in my life. I went there because I was so tired of material life. I didn't know why to exist. And then somehow some, some friends and some, something guided me to India and then to Vrindavan. And then first I was just um, looking around and I didn't know that if I can find really this, what I'm searching in India. Um, but I was lucky. I was uh, only connected with good people. And then I still saw that in everywhere else in India, it's same materialistic world like in Western, so it doesn't make big change. But then when I arrived to Vrindavan, then I remembered that uh, I was collecting my. Uh, I wanted. I, I tried to be brave that now I have to enter the temples and see and and then find myself Kuru. I remember just in Vrindavan, this so magical place that I just wrote down in my diary that now I, I really don't know what to do. I need Kuru <laughs> and right now. And then I think maybe 10 minutes after that, I entered Mungermandir. I didn't know the place. I didn't know the people there. And then, yeah. After 15 minutes of writing this in Brindavan to the paper, my very serious, very sincere wish, I was in front of Gurudev. So this uh, miracles really happen. And then he immediately um, took me as a family member. I needed to, uh, my heart needed <laughs> To melt slowly and yeah but you cannot resist uh, of real love 
so I was melting like anything. And first I wanted to stay maybe some days. Then I said, okay, okay, I stay for one week more. Then, okay, one month. Then, yeah, yeah. I surrendered fully. And this is the most beautiful thing I ever did, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm so thankful for Gurudev for this that he have been always taking me on his shelter. Even though uh, I'm making like every day so many operats in my, in my thoughts or behavior or every, <coughs> everywhere. So I was just uh, uh, recently realized what apparat meaning is. It's directly meaning like against strada, aparada. So it means that if we do some offense, we are against strada. So we should be not against strada. We should be in the mood of strada. So then, then will the love will flow. So, <laughs> so less aparada, more in the mood of strada. So, thank you for being my family. Tanda what's good Rade. But I want to see a Prema Lakshmi. Prema Lakshmi. Rade Rade. It's only waiting, huh? How are you? Oh, what you. What you think? You want to share something? She's scary. She's a musician. <laughs> oh, amazing musician. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see he's playing Kartala. Yeah. Wow. Jaibo. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Prima likes me. I love you. Radhe. <laughs> what a sweet bundle of love you are all three together. <laughs> Next year, Prima Lakshmi yes. can also share. <laughs> yes, yes. By then she will start. <laughs> Hello. Adonai. Actually, what I feel that she's she's kind of sharing every day because I have so many things I get from her. In, you know this mm, <laughs> love love messages every day. Tens of messages from her eyes. <laughs> we got, we get. It. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Guru. Thank, thank you, you Suniti. Suniti, thank you so much. <laughs> We're so happy to have you and to feel you. Nice. <laughs> So now I would like to ask uh, if the uh, if our Shama Priya or Rasa Lila are around, go to Chandra. Sprechen. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. <laughs> It was a very amazing uh, atmosphere last night in uh, Rasa Purnima, the Purnima of the Rasa, the meeting at uh, the beginning of Kartik month. So please share something because we are eager to listen from your heart and your service. Yeah, oh. Come on, come on, Frontier. All right, 
thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you to our guru that, that he has so much faith in us, that freely he let us do <laughs> what we like, <laughs> what is just coming to our mind, and we can somehow try to yeah, do it. And especially thank to all our brothers and sisters whom we disturbed this time already two, three months before. Uh, because every day some idea is coming, especially for Shalapunima, because it's my favorite. I remember many, many years ago when there was not every day Leela reading here, it was just one paper of uh, a copy, I guess it was from Vila Kusumanjuli. Uh, and there was this Leela where Radharani is going out fully white dress because she has to cover herself match with the white around with because moon is making everything white and i remember this i don't know it touched me so much it not went out of my ears i tried to search this paper this copy paper somewhere to read it again and again and then i was inspired to make a night dress in like this for Radha mohan and that time maybe i was first or second time here i tried to organize the white fabric and I ran around for a white border. <laughs> and then there was one tailor here in the temple, Parikshit was his name, and Guru said, Yeah, he will make it. <laughs> and then I gave him the fabric, and then he started, and he started to put the green, red, blue, big border on it. And then, uh, near to cry, <laughs> I went to Guru and said, Guru is putting another border on it. I, I won't I won't fight, no, because I seen this Leela in front of me and I wanted her to go at night with white dress. And then Gurdiv called him and he said to me, Yeah, you know, he's like this, you have to understand. And then he called him and he said to him, You know, she's Western, you have to understand, she is like this. Just put the white border and then you will have peace. <laughs> Means I remember I was fighting a lot for that white night dress that she can uh, go out like that. This was many, many years ago. And now we are freely to do such a big thing. I Means uh, yeah, all ideas, what we have, what we cannot do alone, but our open up bear is uh, listening to us and <laughs> fulfilling all our desires. And even the flower man is helping in it that uh, it can happen like that. And, it was uh, yesterday was really actually in the end it's only mercy because uh, we are getting maybe some vision and ideas but that it is happening and like yesterday in the end no rain it could be outside like so many things that in the end it really could happen like that it's just mercy and just for us to cry that <laughs> it's somehow like that what we we try to uh, give. So now that Sadila is coming, she will take over. <laughs> <That's a fine difference. laughs> so, thank you. I don't know what you can do. So you can start me. Beautiful. Yes, sit down, Rasalila. I can ask you questions. <laughs> question and answer. Question and I think Shamapriya, it looked yesterday also like a bra bride uh, gown, Radharani. And I think you make it very nice that inside is the soft and shiny, silky, and outside you make like a little like a mantle, like a cappy. Yeah, we seen some pond and we were planning how to do it. <laughs> like uh, our European brides, no, in India it's not so used, so they didn't know so much. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I not understood really. it's, uh, what is this part in the end. <laughs> yes, yes, but uh, it looks perfect and it had such a nice embroidery and so shiny. And one of the girls was holding it. No? 
So who was holding the 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 veil, Lasa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They say Rupa. Nice. You believe you was it? <laughs> they say it was Rupa, but Rasalina thinks she herself. Almost. <laughs> I, I never stitched my hands so long time. <laughs> so many oh hours. My God. Oh my God, yes. So I think Shama said already, no? Everything. No. She said nothing. Nothing. She said private she said so I want, I want to, I want to say something. Yes. I went backside today. We about yesterday, beautiful thing. And he started talking little. Who? In detail. Things that we don't see if we don't watch closely. Who told and he you? also started sharing about Gopi, Gopinath. Okay. And he started talking a little about the process, how the idea come, how they share to each other. So it's not like you just put the deities there and like this. No? There's a long time of preparation, inspiration, talking to each other, how to arrange everything. And I became very interested in to share that with all the devotees because we cannot see only in the darshan how much service is included and in details how many hours they were stitching. And yeah, so I can ask some question and they can answer. Maybe it's yes. good for good idea. For, good idea for milk them little. <laughs> <laughs> So who got the inspiration for this kind of darshan making the Leela, na? Radharani going on Abhisa? Who come there? Actually, some, some things oh. is coming. Means now in this dress, it was minimum three months before already. Some idea come and then mostly in other days, after when we meet, uh, <laughs> One more thing, <laughs> like every, everyone is getting something and adding. So in the end, it's it start with one, and then that's each other we are adding. And also this time, now this Abishar was like already since long we wanted to make one time this lila because sometimes we made no now it's some lila uh, when no, there is some time more. So this lila was one standing, and then. Uh, when we were thinking to Shara Purnima and then also talking with Gop okay with Shama, but then after also Gopina will say, Oh, we can make something. And then we said actually the, uh, so we reached this Abishar and was the Lila that we wanted already make since long. Then it was good to combine no in uh, Shara Purnima was perfect. Mm -hmm. And so we start now this Lila like uh, so with Gopika, no, they ordered the stone, white stone to make the pet, and then uh, the moon, we need the moon, uh, so the fabric uh, that you uh, no, Brad. This is the moon, actually. Acha. No? <laughs> very good. It's the moon, and then the stars, and then no, so and everything. Okay. How many stars are there on the <laughs> How many? sky? We know. <laughs> they put this the the jewelry no, on the background for making mm -hmm. the stars and the moon. So there are so many. Uh, stones glued on the fabric from the background. Many, how many? Three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the moon, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who Who's there? And also, I don't know if you know this. No, like. Uh, uh, no, this one. I mean, that the, the hairs, no, maybe you cannot see much, but they are like normal hair that you buy in market, but they are all uh, like uh, bread mm. and all bread the by Rosalila. This is her favorite. And, uh, yeah, I like. <laughs> and this time also, we yeah. make the jewelry ourselves. She made the jewelry because it has to be soft, the heavy one she thrown already, no, on the way. 
And then, yeah, there were all nice uh, necklaces uh, that she threw away. She really threw. <laughs> she has no more. <laughs> <laughs> you can share it. <laughs> by, the, by the mercy of our dear Gopinat, that they not came back in the temple. <laughs> not even one. He thrown them in the <laughs> audience. Who <laughs> likes to give some uh, necklace pearls to Radamon? Welcome, <laughs> they don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm I'm sandwich. <laughs> Very fortunate. <laughs> they are such you. an inspiration for all of us here because they allow us to to dream and then make this dream happen mm -hmm. no? on the altar. It's like very, very unique. No, actually, sorry, we are dreaming only, but he helped us to do it. Without, uh, I have no choice. <laughs> They're <laughs> they my group leaders. No? <laughs> Have to follow them. But if I may just say something. Um, so they are crazy, we know. <laughs> By now we know that Ras and Sham are mad for Radha Mohan. Mm -hmm. And this madness is also spilling over to us, drop by drop. So this time we really went mad. But it was, um, as, as Sharma said, it was a process. It was not like, oh, this is the Leela and we do it like this. It was every time more was revealing. And then also the question was, okay, she's going on Avisar, but who will hold her hand, you know? And Mohan, where will he be? He will be inside or he will stand outside of the Kunj? And who made the Kunj? You know, that also came like, you know, he made the Kunj. That's why it looked a little bit, you know, <laughs> not so perfect. <laughs> we felt like this, that he's waiting for her, you know? And <laughs> and behind, like, one was Rupa Mandri was holding her hand, Arati was there holding her veil, and then other two Mandris in the back. And when, when, when we were putting them, like, placing them, you know, we, also it was not clear to us, you know, it just happened by, by their arrangement. You know? We were just becoming in that moment instruments, and I feel it just gave us such a, a beautiful experience of this bhav, you know, and then when Gurudev, when the curtain opened and Gurudev saw the darshan, it was like, you know, like he dragged us all there inside. You know, there's this whole picture of Gurudev, uh, which was also on Radha Das. It's like he's there with them, you know, like, you know, and that was that feeling yesterday. I feel like it's really Gurudev's mercy that, uh, you know, that we can get a tiny bit of that bhav in our hearts and it's growing. And we're so happy that we can share this together. And I don't know what next the next level of madness will be, but <laughs> for sure it will come. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. And also it was so nice because with the light and the darkness, no, uh, there was like the mandaris, they were mm -hmm. making the shadow behind on the backdrop. You can mm -hmm. see also in the picture. So it seems like, no, Buddha always say we are shadow, we are shadow. Yeah. So it was like so many, no, shadow were there. So it's like, uh, really, we were all there, no? So it was really nice. And also to see Radharanya, she was just looking at him. They were like <laughs> yeah. so fixed. Mm. This was little, uh, like, wow. Like, so mm. like not really fixed. A little like, a, no, yeah. like... <laughs> Uh, and she looked very intoxicated. Yeah, like, like, her eyes like very, yeah. like drunken, no? really fixed on him, and but half closed, little the eyes, and <laughs> really. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I think also that the explanations of Anantaras Babaji, how he described the Leela ne, in the books we are reading, that helping so much to get the feelings and can meditate upon the Leela, because we listen that she is going on Abhisar, mm. but when she sees Mohan, then sometimes feeling coming like, oh, what I'm doing, please bring me home. Mm. So one Manjari has to take her by the hand and give her in the hand of Mohan. So 
They did, no? They put Radharani's veil, no? Or skirt in the hand of, of the Manjari near to Radharani. Gopinath. <laughs> That, that she helped Radha Rani to go to him because she become little opposite mood. And she was looking like, mm. no, like only looking at him, but little like like this. <laughs> no? And some, sometimes he doesn't recognize her because the moon shines on her and she becomes totally white. So who has to put her hand into Mohan's hand? Manjuri has to do. So this was also kind of a feeling like because everything was white and he's already like an elephant intoxicated and almost almost like almost <laughs> almost falling so somebody had to bring there like mandris are so important in so many ways you know like she's hesitating as Bharat Chandra said then they have to push he's blind anyway <laughs> Blinded by love, so they have to tell her like she here she is. Take her, no, take her inside. So yeah, this is really the mercy of sharing, reading Vilapa Kusumanjali, and you know Gurudev brings this text to life. Of course, Anandas Bhavati's commentaries are sublime and divine, but Gurudev really brings feeling into those texts for us. No, we're very fortunate. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy that you came into your, uh, uh, the three uh, Dasis flow together. And of course, there's also Jayana, um, our Sachinandan Bai, he, he probably also helped you all to yeah. do the arrangement. Yeah. And I, I, he become instrument of instruction of <laughs> Shama Priya and Sachi was... Uh, <laughs> He, you know, he was, he, he, at the end of the program, he came and he asked, where are the necklaces, which we, we were put <laughs> on the path. <laughs> there were real pearl necklaces. And then we said the Sakis took them, like all of the money. We well, became all prashadi. And then his face up. <laughs> Very sweet, that move. Because he, you know, he's amazing. The Shringar of Sachinandan and the way, also he, Follows all the instructions of Ras and Shama how to dress and I don't know. I'm very very grateful for Sachinandan. Without him, anyway, like he's it's not possible at all to think even to do anything like this. Good if you wanted to say that. Very nice. I can say when how is realized it happens like this. This is very like. That it come in our canvas of my heart. Mm -hmm. This happened. Leela happened. That they do the same thing what is mentioned in the past time. I feel that what is there, more feeling was there. When you do the darshan, then that what is in the past time. It's very special. Thanks for looking and darshan. It was a surprise for me. First time it happens, never happened before. Reality and beauty. Beauty, reality, reality happens like that. Thank you, all of you, for giving so much love for us. Thank you, my. And they're already working on the next. The idea is already born. You can be excited. What will be the next already? I, I don't know. Nobody share, but I know that they're already planning the next. Wow. That's a beauty. 
of Radha and Radha Mohan place. I also thought that in the last sharings we listen about um, the gifted uh, devotees who are painting, no? how they make the painting. That's like the same process. They also, they adjust, they meditate. It's the same like the Starshan we had yesterday, that it has to reveal slowly, slowly how the Manjari want to be, how Radharani will look, where will Ra Mohan standing inside or outside. Like this is everything revealing in the process. It's like making a painting like we listened last week's from our sisters who making the painting. No? I was thinking it's a little similar. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think... Rade, rade. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry for interruption. It's Govinda Mohini. Can you set me as a translator, please? Yes, Gurudev, I was thinking that uh, Rupa Goswami, he is writing always about this Anyabilashita Shumyam in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And our Srila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj, always speak about this verse, especially that when Bhakti comes like a flow, an uninterrupted flow of love that is never interrupted and it comes like the honey from a jar. And it comes without any uh, endeavor or it comes just from the heart and from the desire to serve. So this we can see in these services, they come by themselves. Then Bhakti Devi, Srimati Radhika is giving us this chance to flow more and more in her desires. Like Anapurna Shakti was ni nicely saying and also our dear Praneshwara was uh, explaining so uh, lovingly how happy he is that he feels guided and also our Rai Priya, how she she was guided by Shimati Radhika in Vrindavan to a lotus feet of our Srila Gurudev and Gurudevi. So we see this is the meaning of Anya Vilashita Shunyam, this uninterrupted flow. It is a uh, also some kind of like an ecstasy that you don't feel anymore the doer, but you are just being the instrument. And then like Gopinath said, uh, they all become mad. Huh? It's a madness in this flow. <laughs> and I'm so happy to see you flowing in this special love and special um, service. We are all very proud of you. And when you do the service, then I always feel I'm also a little bit part of it. And then uh, it was so beautiful of you today to share something about your service. So that uh, those of us who are now in this kind of separation mood, that we can also have some uh, nourishment and, yeah, we feel part of the whole Leela. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to ask, is our dear Krishna Kirtan around? He, he is the one who makes the sharing online. And uh, I have heard from so many devotees that even when they have to work today at this time, they like to listen to this sharings later on. And they have this beautiful chance by, by the service of Krishna Kirtan from Poland. Are you there? Hmm. I asked him if he would come to share today. He said yes, but maybe something was happening that it's not possible. Without Krishna Kirtan, nothing can be possible. It's so great. So. Yes, yeah. good. If I feel the same. <laughs> Very special collection. 
we have to always pray for him. He is always in service. Yes, he had been a little bit sick lately, but today he said he felt better and he wanted to come and share. But maybe it, he again felt some weakness. So then I want to ask anybody else if they would like to share the heart. Mahabhav, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm, I'm just... Uh connecting here from from the school <laughs> uh, I am at the moment at at my work so I have a little bit of uh, free time as you can see the <laughs> school environment well I don't know what can I say because uh, actually uh, what what uh, inspired me was this Leela at the end that they were describing how they the the um, revelation of the lila was going on gradually and i was just exactly i was thinking wow this is the same as the process of painting these lilas and uh, the, actually the painting process is that uh, you don't know in the beginning what will come out of it at the end because uh, you are just simply guided you are the instrument and when you become an instrument as a channel uh, then you just get the uh, guidance and the ins inspirations in form of inspiration. You get gradually the instructions, what should be done and what has to be uh, made. And this is exactly the same. And I'm so glad that you also, the, the devotees who were sharing, they, they also said the same thing because actually it's the same process. And it is so beautiful how uh, you have described you all together that you all together you get these ideas parts of the instructions parts of the revelations what should be done what has to be made and <clears throat> that means when we are all together in in the creation on of one thing then each of us uh, gives uh, their contribution you know like like a part of the puzzle it's like a big puzzle and each of us gives a little bit there and then at the end the whole picture is revealed and this is so nice and it's indeed such a blessing to be able to be like a an instrument in this because when you are inside of it then uh, you get you enter this flow and that flow actually carries you. And that's how what Gopinath, I think he said that you go crazy <laughs> because it is, it's such a blessing and it's such a bliss. Sometimes we have also these so-called dry periods, you know, when, when no flow is coming. And I think this is just to increase the desire to, to get more into this flow. And when you, you pray, when you have this so-called dry or like empty, periods then then it means that i take it as uh, radha and krishna they're playing hide and seek you know they hide from you so your desire may increase to be with them even more and when you increase your desire then when you get their flow this uh, the, again this more mercy comes then then you actually get even more blissful and inspired to be together with them so these are like the waves you know, <laughs> actually in this ocean of, uh, uh, I don't know how to call it, <clears throat> but, but indeed, this is such a, such a great mercy. So I would like also to ask you for blessing, uh, if we use this opportunity, because I would like to paint a new painting. Uh, I don't know if I should say it now, but uh, maybe, maybe not, but I... Uh, <laughs> Actually, I will say it because I already said it. <laughs> it's, it will be about Radha Kund. And I would like to, to have this Radha Kund manifest on the painting together with Radharani emerging from Radha Kund. So I will ask, ask Gurudev for, for blessing to, to be able to be, become the channel of this uh, uh, Radha Kund appearance on the painting. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Hello. Very good, very good. Do uh, 
uh, I don't know if we have Manjari. more. Sorry. Manjari also has to be there. In Radha Kun, Anang Manjari Kunj is also there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, this Aprakata Leela and this Aprakata uh, uh, Radha Kun should be also there. Yeah. In the spiritual dimension. Jai Ho. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Very happy, said Gurudev. So there's another artist here, Gurudev. It's a Shyama Priya. I just saw her. Uh, maybe you want to share something also about your art? Are you there, Shyama Priya? Yeah. From England. I, I think you are here. Hey, Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so nice to see you all. Yeah. Um, well, um, actually, I can just I I just some devotees know, but I um I still didn't release the new painting. But because you asked, maybe I should show it now. Um. Uh, yeah, regarding painting. Honestly speaking, I I only feel alive when I create paintings. E everything else in my life, I don't know. I just don't feel so much myself. But when I'm doing that service, and that is somehow given to me, I never went in school. Oh, you know, yeah. um, so it was just given to me, and it's like my it's actually my own bhajan, and it's my place of. Uh, refuge and i feel kind of a little shy to speak i don't know what you know um to say um i i Please show actually, some I of your painting yeah okay Sh show this one behind you don't remember she said from england no, wow, very nice. Wow, where are you living now, Shyama Priya? Uh, I am living in UK. Ah, yes, yes, and uh, this is one of the last ones. For uh, one of the last ones, uh, you know, I mean, every picture is connected with some stage of my heart and the meditation and um, after that i did this one wow. and uh, okay now i will show you my last one uh somehow i for so long time i wanted to i i was obsessed with the feet of shrimati radharani for some reason and I just wanted to create something in connection with that. So for all of you now, <laughs> okay, I will share this one. Oh my God. God. Oh. Yeah. I don't see that. What is this? So and uh, actually uh, recently uh, hold hold it hold it a little bit longer so Gurudev can see it. This is Gurudev Krishna is crying on Shimati Radhika's lotus feet. Tears are coming. He's boiling my shringa. Now you can see here. Yeah. Beautiful. Actually, I am. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know Radharas Sudanidi, but when we were having a sangha with the uh, Jagatam and uh, 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 Mahabhava and uh, Dina Dayal, to Dina Dayal, then we were reading one verse, and it was the, the uh, and by accident, uh, the part of the seventh verse of Radharas Sudanidi just came to me to read. And I, I was really kind of shocked that uh, what what was described there, this is somehow what I tried to paint in the painting and I didn't know about that description. Uh, so that meant a lot to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you have any question, I mean, I don't know really um, what to speak because for me, this is all just, um, my own bhajan and meditation, and I always meditate. Um, whenever I create some painting, I uh, I, I listen a music or or lila, which is connected as much as I can understand. I usually listen on Hindi because I I cannot listen to classes when I uh, paint. I I am I am more about the catching the uh, vibration. And then I'm just hoping that all that vibration from what I'm hearing and from what I'm feeling can enter the painting. And then the later on, uh, a painting will breathe this out and have some uh, cooling and uh, inspiring or healing effect, whatever somebody might maybe found find in my artwork. But mm. it, it's... It's mostly I am doing as my own uh, uh, purification and my my meditation on my relationship with uh, Radha and Krishna. And the reason I do that because I I experience such a um, such a tremendous joy by doing that, and I I I cannot understand even why because I really don't have no any intellectual. Uh, knowledge i read things and i forget i'm just not memorizing much but i am a person who feels a lot so while 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 creating these paintings um uh, uh, i am just day and night absorbed in that and i have no idea which colors to put what what to put how to decorate her or him and then I'm, I'm, I'm searching for different inspirations, uh, uh, through the internet. And at the end, if I try to make something similar, I thought, Oh, maybe this will work. It just doesn't work. And then I must surrender. And then it comes from inside. And I know that I gave my maximum when I start to feel a uh, peace in my heart. Otherwise, many times I create something and, and I'm just feeling very much disturbed and i cannot look at the painting and then i feel this is not what they want it, it, i didn't give my maximum uh and then i just put on the side and then maybe sometimes during the night when i pass by and then i look at the painting i just feel oh this needs to be done and then i take a brush and i do so it's it's really it's really in a sense 24 7 meditation uh, um and uh, uh, yeah that makes me uh, very happy it's my refuge and if somebody can have use of that um i'm feeling very grateful <laughs> Rani. Rani. yeah and even for one painting once um I was painting for a book which Radha Madhava wants to publish about um, Imlitala. And uh, then I looked for a f uh, on one uh, outfit from, uh, from uh, Radha Mohan. <laughs> uh, I can show you this. So um, I I stole 
a stone decoration for this Radhika from Radha Mohan. <laughs> yeah, because I just felt I I loved I loved that dress of her so much. So I thought uh, I felt inspired to to feel from her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is for the book. It's not published, so it's like uh, he's not allowing sharing or something, you know. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just uh, sharing with all of you. Uh, yeah. It's actually um, he gave me instructions, so I was painting under him. So it was not totally my vision; it was his vision. He wanted Krishna to sit in a in that position of meditation when he was praying to uh, uh, to her um, to come <laughs> when she went from residence. So, um, yeah. If, if, I don't know, if you have any question or uh, somebody else wants to talk, I don't know what to say more. <laughs> Thank you, so nice. I, um, I just tried to remember the last time I saw you, maybe it was on the Bhakti Festival, right? Yes, yes, in Switzerland. And actually, before that, long time ago, we met in Shyampriya Kunj. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you from, from there and from uh, somewhere else also. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, on a Gurudev Festival somewhere in Holland. Yeah, but then I, I was, I was, you know, there was no this internet connections and mobiles so available. And then I lost the contact for uh, 13, 14 years with the many devotees, unfortunately. But I'm back now and I am, uh, and I'm, and I'm feeling very grateful, uh, especially since I'm, I'm, I started to paint again because for many years I was not, I didn't have no any, a life circumstances which would allow to do any artwork. It was more survival, hard survival. And but since I came here to UK, I started to paint again. And really miraculously, I I didn't have money to to live even, you know. And then just miraculously, one devotee would appear, another devotee would appear, and they started to buy paintings. And like that, I started to maintain myself and. Um, I, I, I felt very happy to see how in many songs on YouTube my, my paintings are inside. So I'm like, oh my God, it's happening and I'm not doing anything. So I'm just happy to be in a service. I, I understand it's not really me. Uh, it's, it's allowed to me to do sometimes something if I manage it somehow to surrender. Beautiful. So, uh, Thank you for sharing and for coming yeah, I'm very, to the conference. Yeah, I'm feeling very shy when it comes to that subject. Mahababa asked me to like make maybe presentation or something, uh, you know, uh, to see how I started and uh, uh, whatever to share. But I just felt like, oh God, I'm just too shy because it's it's something so intimate, something so uh, sacred uh, uh, for for my soul because it's actually my own bhajan and exposing my heart which is like which is putting you in quite vulnerable situation <laughs> but it's also natural right because we are radha dasi so yeah if we share if we share as friends then it's very natural also yeah thank so I, I, I am i'm thank you so much for uh for uh for asking me because my manager I'm a very shy person so thank you <laughs> Uh, well, I just hope I will be able to, uh, to 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 serve you all somehow through this. Uh, uh, please bless me because I I really even honestly I even don't know what I paint. I don't understand. I don't have like realization to know. I I only judge through the feeling of happiness in the heart, which which, which I receive. Yeah. Rade. Rade. I wish to go. Sadhu Maharaj wanted to come to Vrindavan. And oh, then wow. they said they said no visa till 15 November for UK. So I felt really like mm. uh, 
down, but maybe I'm, I'm, I would like to come after. Start. Yeah. They will start. Yes, now they start to give out a visa from Germany. They, we heard that from the 15th, yes, they, they are giving. But you can apply now. You can apply three weeks before. Oh, really? No. This, I, this I didn't know because when I was in travel agency, they said, oh, come on a 15. You know, you cannot do it No, 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 no. You can apply now. And, and then uh, when you have the stamp in your passport, then you can tell them we are flying on 19th. It's no problem. Okay, so I can apply now. Okay. Jai Ho! Jai and come soon to Bungay Pandir. The home of the Dasis. <laughs> are you coming also, Suniti? Or you are there? I'm confused. <laughs> I, 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 I saw you. I, I think I saw you there. You yes, know, I, and then like. I was there for Adashtami for a short time, and now we, are, we want to come back also soon, as soon as possible, November or December, let's see. Acha, oh, it would be nice. Oh, it would be nice. I would like to come because my heart is really crying. I, I need it. I need for my soul really so much. And Sadhu Maharaj, I miss you. I want to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So long time I was in separation. Too long time, you know. <laughs> so nice you are doing. Very nice. Beautiful show. Thank you, Maharaj. I'm so Thank happy. Thank you. Very nice you are in London. But nice place. Many devotees are them. Yeah, but not here. I am very lonely here. I am on the Please. north. <laughs> Which place? I am in Newcastle. I actually, I actually live in a, I live in temple with the two Prabhus. <laughs> we are the only one here. <laughs> And there are many grihastas, but they live far away. Yeah. So I really need a misassociation. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The devotees are asking in the chat uh, where they can contact you and to buy paintings from you. <laughs> Could you maybe share your contact in the chat? Uh, yes, yes, I can. Yes, I have a small website, which is print on demand website. Uh, they can see other some other works. And yes, of course, I can share. I'm so happy to be with all of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, but, um, during the process, it's so mysterious. It, it always I, I'm looking through the YouTube like which song will fit? What will uplift my, my, my spirit? And then I'm just searching, searching, and just at one moment, uh, 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 something comes, and I feel like, wow, this is it. I can stay with this. And, and it was so uh, amazing for me recently. I really very much like to listen Chitra Lekaji. Somehow she's inspiring me, uh, uh, my mood, you know. And then I, I was uh, making this last this last painting and then uh, I almost when I was about to finish I open up YouTube and then it was her song and then my picture of Radharani there and I was like oh my god is that possible you know because I was just so much listening her bhajan and then it's just my Radharani appeared there so um and there are oh. there are many many like uh, small uh, miracles which are always included but this is all like you know like very intimate between you and um, between you and uh, Radha and Krishna especially yeah. Radhika yeah <laughs> huh? Lekaji. The, the, 
she's uh, um she's uh, uh i i wrote to mahani dimaraj about this and then he told me oh like uh, i'm very inspired with your with your choice because she's a diksha disciple from um vinod baba from radhakund uh okay. and and uh, yeah i i think like i don't know she's just having so much bhav so it's just like really moving me very nice very nice very yeah. very nice katha sidhi Mm-hmm. Singing also. Yes. Also, sometimes, um, uh, uh, what is beautiful? I believe that every devotee, his every devotee is having uh, his own channel uh, uh, towards Radha and Krishna because we all have a different natures, and and through somebody it will speak more more through the books. Through somebody, through certain service, through somebody, it just depends on our nature. And I guess, uh, to me, I'm uh, I am um, connected the most through art, through through painting and through singing. So sometimes I also like to sing my paintings, like because I just feel they are my friends, they are they are my love, you know. And then I sing for them, and I, you know, I often feel like a mother. Who gives a birth to a child, but I know that this child doesn't belong to me, and you know I just create, and then this painting go to someone's house, and I just feel like, you know, and it's not easy. I have to practice detachment, uh, but uh, it, it is what it's meant to be. It doesn't belong to me. Uh, so, uh, and you know, Suniti. Uh, in in Abantoyer, just next to Shla Prabhupad, opposite of Radha Madan Mohan, is uh, my painting of Shrimati Radharani, and uh, and I am I'm, I'm very happy for that. I I actually Sachinandan Swami he ordered that for me to paint, and uh, it was standing in his room for long, and then he gave it to a temple. So yeah, I'm I'm just happy to be of service. And sing and dance and paint and to be with devotees and uh, yes, you're very lucky. And now <laughs> you have come here to our international society of Radha Dasis, and ah. we we want that uh, we want to inspire each other to do our services in the mood of our swarup of our soul form of our real identity. So I think uh, we are here to learn this, to see each other from this perspective, and it's something very natural. And when you come to Munge Mandir, please come and uh, let's share there more about this, so we can understand who we are in our eternal services to our Guru Manjari and to Radha Mohan and to our Ishtadev. And this is very important in our lives that we come to this level of bhakti. Which our Gurudev, which our Shila Gurudev always desired for us. So that's why I go to Munge Mandir because there I can feel I can live in my Swarup and from my Swarup, and I can share from my Swarup. And I'm very happy to hear that you have the same desires and feelings. Thank you. You know, I am. I would just like to hear that this group exists. It really. It, it it just inspires me so much because for a long time I was feeling that dryness and I was actually deprived from devotee association and uh, uh, that part which is existing here and especially this Manjari Swarup is just moving so much my heart and I cannot understand this intellectually there is no understanding but it's my heart is moved and I'm so happy to be alive and that that souls. Because I was very, very lonely on my path, and I was even many times accused about being rade rade and what I'm imagining to be, and uh, so really I was even sometimes prosecuted and like really, and I was like thinking like, is that the sin that I just like to hear about her and sing about her, and uh, I just couldn't understand, and then I thought that I end up in a maybe very dangerous sect. Because I'm coming from Serbia and we have very bad reputation there, you know. So I thought I totally uh, missed my life, 
you know and then when i came to to uk and finally i i again connected to krishna chandra you know with sadhmaraj and the, with this group uh, and also uh, of shanaramaraj group you know i i felt like oh my god i i didn't waste my life you know because this is all i have i don't have nothing else i don't have a husband i don't have children i don't have home but i have nothing you know i only have this you know and i felt but like such a loser but but now i i really got so much enthusiasm and inspiration and i feel alive again and uh, i'm so grateful for all of you that you exist and that you are so much enthusiastic for that and i feel like such a beginner in the front of all of you although i'm 30 years like somehow in the process but i feel like god you know all these new devotees they so called new you know they have so much power who are these souls i just want to take the dust from their feet so i can one day have really <laughs> because i feel so far far away so i'm very grateful to to and i hope to have more of some Welcome to the family my dear. We are all young <laughs> girls, and young girls that are trying to realize our, you know, identity in our relationship to Guru Banjari and to Simata Radhika. We want to focus on this. This is the mercy of our dear Shila Shripad Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj because he yes. makes us fearless. He She's makes us fearless. She is a blessed day with Narayan Maharaj. Yes, Gurudev, but I, we know, and also Jayananda, we all know we are the old disciples. But, you know, we need somebody to ignite the fire, the strength to, you are really this Dasi. Shida Gurudev Narayan Maharaj, she told me you are the Dasi, but you confirm it and you make me alive. And that is what why I am here, because just the theoretic knowledge, it is not so much useful. Eh? I need to have some realizations. I need to go deep. And I need to become fearless, like Shyama Priya Didi says that uh, we know so many things, but many devotees are still not practicing it because they have no deeper realizations. And then they block it out of their consciousness and out of their lives. And they even make others feel bad who try to do that because they feel this is my home. So good if that's why you are giving me this life and you are giving us this life you are giving us this boldness and strength yes we are the darcy's and we don't want to be anything else that's why you are inaugurating this international uh, society for radha dasyam for the ones who really want this and nothing else so like our priya dasi from japan says radha is my life radha is my goal radha is my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, really remember. <laughs> and Shama say one thing. We have to the problem of blockage is this that we don't know how to fix our our mood. Huh? Some different word was that. So how to fix this without fixing my constitutional situation than creating blockage. When I fix myself, if the blockage will come, the flow will take it out. Our blockage will not stand there. Because goal is fixed. When we not fix myself, then blockage come and disturb us. So our a constitutional position, what Prabhupada says, my sarup and sarup siddhi in the page four is the main goal of our spiritual life. Sarup is our constitutional position, and perfection in that constitutional position is the Pariyojan, is the goal. 
we have no demand from you. You jump in my front or not. But I will love, I will, I will think for you. You cannot stop me to do that. <laughs> because you are mine. I have a right to think for you and meditate on you because you are mine. Mm -hmm. I know you have many, but I have only one. <laughs> so our constitutional position may clear to see that this is, you see the life of Jesus. He fixed his constitutional position. He said, I am son, you are my father. Or you can say, I, you are my father, I am your son. But you are my father. I have to care you. You not care me. Why I will ask to you? Love never asks. But I can think for you. So our constitutional position is our Gaudiya Siddhanta peace. That has to be very clear to understand. And Prabhupada not fight to say this. Mm -hmm. Narayan Maharaj not fight to say this. But he, uh, he not press because we are not ready. We are interested in different subjects. But when we will be interested, after 30 years, after also not interest. <laughs> then what do you do 30 years? Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We have to fix it. I say Prabhupada's introduction one page you read, you can be capable to understand everything. One page, Bhagavad Gita, page four. If you understand this, you listen any books, is a spiritual book. You don't need to memorize Sanskrit if you don't realize it and so. I see from my eyes in Vrindavan, who comes to Vrindavan, they only practice this, no other thing. They are not in, interested to gather the information. No one. In this point, they gather the information. In this point, this subject, they gather the information. And when you will see, that is a Rupa Siksha. Mahaprabhu's teaching and uh, Raghunath Das Goswami teaching. Other books cannot say you. Why are you reading? Wasting your time. <laughs> Is always thing. to believe only that Krishna is the God. Other books is only prepared to believe that Krishna is a God. Until I know a sign is not grow. Believing, even the when Bajavasi don't believe that Krishna is a god. He don't believe, and Bajavasi is not believe. Believe me, not, not the term and chase. They don't believe. They have a man, they believe in that man. 
friends, uh, my, my family, or what is other matter. If you not go to the Brajivasi home, anyone can check this. You will find it right. Anumanji will is there, Shiva is there, Durga is there, but Krishna is in corner. <laughs> not in center. You will go and say, why not Krishna you put in center? Because he is the God. Then, okay, okay. Then in your front they will keep it and again keep back. <laughs> I say, well, this is a fact. Because they don't believe that he is the God. He is the family God. Narayana Maharaj said, Narvata, like a human, right or not? Like a human, like a God, not like a human. <laughs> Narayana Maharaj said, Narvata Leela, what is meaning? Not like a God or like a human? Lokik Sabandu. Look, many times. And Savita did the more she is a Lokik Sabandu. She is more. When you listen to his class, she will say in English, in the Lokik Sabandu. But she not accept that he is not a God. We believe that he is a God because long practice happened like this. If he is not a God, then why are you running for him? I mean, who is the controller of whole universe? Okay, Krishna. But who controls Krishna? <laughs> Not see that. Come on. Only Radhika. Gopis cannot control this. He is not satisfied. Only Radhika. Akya Mahabhav can make happy to Krishna. <laughs> now, Gayatri, before you are understanding, this is Krishna's arrow and twenty-four and a half, whatever. Right? But it's not this many. Go ahead and I cannot, I do not catch 100%. You share what's coming from It's not to explain in the <laughs> internet. <laughs> One thing I say, half is a manjari. Right? And Radha and Krishna is one soul, two body. Right or not? Yes. Means t- 24, means 12 and 12. Right? And half is the weight, half, half is where? With Krishna or Radha? That will be more heavy. Radhika takes care of the Mandri school, dude. Yeah. Rasa, Rasa. 
Krishna, sure, twenty four is only Krishna. But you see one soul, two body, is a different way. Why not? Today, in the morning, call me. He said, You're there. I cannot find one thing about that this Kamagasu, whose name is a uh, Vishnu Chakravarti, mm. and what name? Baladev Vitya Ah, they are all making the discussion. Mm. Anandas Babaji. Also, may not make any career. I am searching from three, four days. But I said, okay, it all depends on your Eastern Mishnah. If your Krishna is Eastern, then what you know that is right. When your Radha is Eastern, then something is as right. And when Radha Krishna is your wish, so something else is right. How, where is your mood is? And where is, what is your bhav? You can see that. Similar thing, Shama uh, First, the blockage comes when I have no mood. When my mood is fixed, I see crystal clear. <laughs> Understand? All right. They're not subject for argument. But where is the rasa and where is no rasa? That to check. Very juicy. So nobody mentioned very clear. If these mantras are all person to person realization, and they don't say rare hint they give of the realizations for helping for the his followers hints. That you develop this to realize it. So nice class for me to. Now time is over. How many are there? Now we are? 60. 60. Japan is going to be very angry to me. Six now ten thirty in Japan or eleven. And <laughs> so it's okay. Beautiful good if Yeah, thank you. Oh Gorwan in our share something. Why are you angry with me? I, I want to listen to you. Are you not Guru Dev, what can I say? <laughs> Every word is full of rasa. <laughs> if you want to speak through me, then do it. Alone doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just shortly say that 
what Chiama Bria said, I was also a long time in different groups of devotees and if the mood is not fixed, you will be burned out after some time and really burned out, completely out, burned. No inspiration anymore if you don't practice. It's like when we learn a job and we just get always the theory, but you never work in that job. You will be burned out because there's no, no output. It doesn't take a form. Your whole investment doesn't take any form you can grab or feel. But you made us feel you are giving the rasa. And then we may understand why we did all this, why we take the long journey. So it's your grace. And I know you don't want to hear it, but it is like that. <laughs> 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 you are Braj Priya. You are Braj Sundari. I she changed it totally. <laughs> I am surprising to her to see. She, I can't recognize her. But more. This is because she is 11 years. She gets always younger. She is practicing, she is very humble and she is in practice. It looks so nice. I try. <laughs> yes. Somehow I feel it can be always more and yes. Oh, yes. But, yeah. <laughs> always happy, always in service. <laughs> I'm nothing to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Today we had our first uh, course, Ms. Sachman course, workshop, painting workshop. Oh, very nice. Abstract painting, emotional painting to get the people in contact with the soul any, uh, again. <laughs> yes. Very step good. by step. <laughs> First soul, then form of the soul. Yeah, that is important. First to drink the wine. <laughs> what do then drink the wine? And if the wine is not feeling tasteful, drink any wine. <laughs> Arrange any wine for some. Drink that love. Joy, sweetheart. And I want to see. I cannot see in first. They close the camera. You just have to press and you have to give instruction, and nobody can close the camera. <laughs> I have to see everywhere. <laughs> I come only to see my. my Please turn on your cameras. Yoga. Shakti Ma, how are you? Missing you, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I try to follow all the groups and I'm so happy yeah, to be in this family. <laughs> Always blind service, right? Every place your name is coming. <laughs> oh, Prem Prashad is sponsored by this. Yeah. I'm oh. red. All of it. All of you in service. But it's so I'm small out. what we do. It's so small. Not it's only nothing. The children and sponsor every place you you help to oh, my God, you so much love to Radham. And to you. 
<laughs> you know, you don't come, but now and how I will feel. <laughs> now we are in France and we wait to come. I'm so happy to come soon to my Vienna. Friend. Ready to my friend, you know, sorry. <laughs> Shruti? Shruti Baba. Shruti Baba, he's inside, but he's also listening <laughs> often. <Okay. laughs> but he's fine, yeah. He see from distance, but he likes also inside. But he loves you. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing and all this beautiful Shruti. statements and the paintings, incredible. So beautiful and we want to buy some of your paintings Shyama Priya so yeah thank you all so much <laughs> thank you Sundaram Madhuram everything Madhuram is a Sundaram wow Sometimes they say you Sundaram, sometimes Madhuram is one word. No problem. <laughs> I no, understand. No, because you have to know Madhur is Sundar. Means Sundar means beautiful. Love is only beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And you are full of love. Thank you. I love you so much. <coughs> yeah, thank you. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, Karuna. Oh, Javan. Radhe. Oh, Maharaj, Jananda. You are also hiding. You not say something otherwise. Dear Radhe, no voice coming. Radhe, all good? Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. Radhe, Radhe, Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe. Jai Gurudev. Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe. Are Chakshu is also here. Chakshu. Chakshu. Are you are all hiding. You strictly say to everyone, they have nobody can hide. I am sitting, everyone to. I want to see the picture. I want to see all of you, my dear. I am praying always, Vaishnava Lotus Feet. Bless me. <laughs> thanks you, thanks you. <laughs> Actually, Shakshu was supposed to speak today, but also I didn't see you, my dear. So next Wednesday, <laughs> yes? <laughs> no, I will not come then if you hide like this. <laughs> You have to give a little darshan for one hour. <laughs> yes. Start, but not hide. <laughs> Jana Nama, right? Please. Everyone see Jana Nama, right? Show to everyone. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. I have a big screen. <laughs> so, his mercy, he inspired before. I have no idea, Jananda Maharaj, what you said to me today. This is you want to help me. I have no idea. I don't know anything. I never serious to practice that. But maybe when one I day. Have by your mercy, I realize today. <laughs> uh, shall I say something, or maybe next time? Could be? No, no. Say, uh, You, you will say to Kishori to excuse me five minutes. Say something. <laughs> Kishori becomes angry when I go more. Okay, just just short three. Uh -huh. Today I I ask 
good one question to Guru Dev, and I want to confirm my small, small realization. <laughs> so it is say karma gaitri. So if there is some, uh, if someone does not have initiation, please forgive me. So somehow, some, so I was thinking karma gaitri. So it is say karma gaitri is usually described about Krishna. And also if we chant uh, karma gaitri successfully, then we can see Radha and Krishna. But uh, one, one thing I have a question, because Vishvana Chakrabati Thakur has question about Karma Gayatri. In Chaitanya Charita, it is mentioned, Karma Gayatri has uh, 24.5 syllable. Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami mentioned like this. But Vishwana Chakrabati type is thinking, oh no, actually 25 syllables. So, but uh, Krishna's Kabiraj Goswami was, is, is Siddha. So he, he, he should not make any mistake on, in, in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So he was wondering, wondering, he was thinking, and, but he could not get any answer of it. So he, he want to commit suicide as a Radha Kunda. But at that time, it is uh, Radha Rani appeared. So Radha Rani appeared and told uh, Vishwanatha, Vishwanatha, don't commit suicide. Because Krishna's Kabiraj Goswami is his, my Dasi, intimate Dasi. So he, he, he's saying right. Please look for one book. It is mentioned half syllable. So, and then Radharani said, told Vishwanatha. Actually, Karma Gayatri described myself. So then I was wondering, so Karma Gayatri, what's the meaning Karma Gayatri? I was meditating and thinking, and then finally I get some answer. So actually, Karma Gaitri is describes Krishna and Radha both. Like, uh, according, if someone who practicing Bhaiti Bhakti, we could see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. But somehow, someone who is practicing Raga Bhakti, we could understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also Radha. So similarly, if practicing Bhaiti Bhakti or if practicing Ishtadeva is Krishna, Karma Gayatri, it means Krishna, describe Krishna. But someone who is practicing Raga Bhakti, someone who is Ishtadeva is Radha Rani, Karma, Karma Gayatri could be Radha. Because Karma, Karma, Karma Deva, Karma means love. So karma, karma deva, it is, it is say it is Krishna. But uh, Krishna can attract the whole universe. But uh, Radha Rani attract even Krishna. So she's really Mahababa personification. So she, she is also maybe called karma deva. That is my, my feeling and my, my realization. So I asked Guru Dev, is this okay? My, my feeling like this. And he said, so, and, so, and he said, actually 24.5 is, is Krishna's body. And, you know, all, all the parts like a nail, you know, nail and you know, and this cheek, like, uh, you know, face, etc. And half is like this. But Good Dave say, saying today, Good Dave saying this half is Manjari. <laughs> because Radha Krishna is both body, two body and one soul. But without, without Manjari, 
クリシナ、ラーダ、ラーダインクリシナ、キャンノットエンジョイフーリー。そう、ゼ、ゼ、ゼ、ニードマンジャリ。そう、ウィアトライントビー、アパートオブラーダインクリシナズリーラ、アズマンジャリ。そう、This is our smart, you know, slowly. I have no idea. I'm a very foolish guy, uneducated, no knowledge, no education. Just in your sharing, my Gurudev will pardon me. This is the point. Radha cannot be half, and Krishna cannot be half. This half is Dasi can be half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gurudev, that's also true. Well, like, he is a T, so he has to be half. <laughs> If he becomes full, then what is that? He m e a n i Yes, like, like, like Gurudev. So today, Shama Puriya and Shama Puriya and Rasarira sharing. So Gopinata e n t e r in the middle. This is Manjari. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Manjari. Manjari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jai Guru Dev. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is the realization comes when we go deep. Ah. Radharani herself g i v e mercy through Gurudev to answer the question. When you call, I was not prepared. And I, nobody is prepared, no read anything. His flow comes by your listening, flow comes to you. are s a i n g the p u s a Yeah, no. <laughs> I know. Really, I say you. So it's happening, miracle, it's through your body. All Japanese changing their life. You are a very important person for Japan. You have to protect your body and try to help more and more people. Become close and my mistakes go out. I can be close to Radharan to serve. No other desire. Anukul, o i v e b i t h i My all circumstances in this life become favorable. If you don't believe, Only you come to see that. I have a variety of prashad. I can say you, the whole life I never l e a v e like this. <laughs> nobody is asking anything and nobody g i v e any problems to me. Even they are so merciful, nobody c o m e to my room. All day. I'm alone in my room, big room. If I need water, I have no way to get myself. There is no one to help me before Prashadam time. So, okay, I have a time for bhajan, no requirement of me, and I have very nice. Peaceful, happy, you eat and leave. And, but in your business, I try to sleep in morning. 
After three, I cannot sleep on bed. And they become worried. Gaura Chandra and Ras Madri, she stuff because they sleep with me. <laughs> because I am their teddy bear. <laughs> they don't want to leave me. I, I cannot sleep after 3, 3.30. So, I am in bliss. I'm in bliss. Yeah, that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. Yeah, you, Gurudev. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. We have to all. Yeah. We must not bring. Viraha, we are in Viraha. My Gora Chandra and Ras Madhuri, after 70 hours, they are leaving us. We are cal calculating hours now. Radhe, Radhe. We are in Viraha. See, see, bhai. see, la, both of them, please. Yeah. Yeah, they are there. Yeah, they are getting close, huh? Most. Who will sleep with There are many questions. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy answer. <laughs> and I'm here. I'm in. <laughs> yes, I was thinking of you, Rasa. Easy answer. Somebody raised the hand. <laughs> you, yeah. The answer to all questions. I have a hard day. The answer to all questions is Rasa. Rasa. Shama Priya. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine what is happening here. <laughs> this is Vrindavan. We are family, you know. In Sadhak Deha or Siddhak Deha, you are start living in that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good day. This is Uh, yes. I also want to nominate for next week. Yes. Uh, Prashant Bhaiya and Preeti oh. Didi like to nominate. Beautiful. Yes. If they are there, that will be nice. Please. I will uh, write it down. Prashant Bhaiya, next week sharing. You want and to listen? And also Suniti. Suniti. Yes. Suniti. Suniti. Yes. Everybody. And also we have, uh, you know, some some devotee chanting 64 rounds. So, yes. so I would like to <laughs> share after 64 rounds chanting, what is happening? Very nice. Some devotee, yes. some, some devotee may share. Yes, please. Uh, they will be first because Japan always a first. <laughs> Very interesting. Someone who is living outside the India, they they start chanting six four down, sixty four downs. One amazing, lakh. amazing. One lakh, Baba. Joy ho! So oh, amazing. Yes, we like to listen. And then Prashant Paya will also share. Jai Prashant Paya. Dandavat everybody. Dandavat. Dandavat. Big hug. To you all. Happy birthday, Dandavats. We all missed you for Sharad Purnima yesterday. Yes, we missed miss your association also. <laughs> so, Yananda Maharaj, how are you? When you are coming? Uh, <laughs> someone has, you know, <laughs> rather than it seems, Radha Nali does not allow me to enter Vrindavan. <laughs> uh, 
So I think soon I may come, maybe, maybe next year. Okay. How are you, baby? Sumitri, baby. Fine? Yeah, I'm missing Vrindavan also. I wish I could be there. I hope to come soon. Pray for us. Sure. <laughs> Okay, then uh, see, see you next week. See you all next week on the International uh, Dasi Conference.